Hey what is going on everyone? I'm Wicked and today I will introduce you to an amazing Flutter package called Very Good CLI. This package was developed by the Very Good Ventures team. Felix Angelov himself, the creator of the popular Flutter block library, is also part of this amazing team and project. Therefore, let's take an in-depth look at what goodies this new package brings to our Flutter experience because man oh man, I'm really excited to talk about all of them. First of all, you may ask, what is actually a CLI? CLI is an abbreviation for command line interface. And as its full name is implying, the command line interface is formed out of a group of commands from within a specific tool. Commands that can be executed inside a console of your choice. You may have already bumped into many CLIs before without you even knowing it. For example, Flutter and Dart have their own command line interfaces. If you open up a terminal, in my case I'll use Windows PowerShell and type in Flutter, then you'll be greeted with what's called the Flutter CLI. As you can see, it contains multiple commands you can choose from in order to tackle up different actions specific to Flutter's workflow. For instance, running Flutter Create will create a new Flutter project with the name you provide. The same thing applies to Dart. If you type in Dart, you'll be greeted with Dart CLI, which contains its specific commands like Analyze, Pub, Run, and so on and so forth. Therefore, you may wonder, well, we know what's the purpose of Flutter CLI, of Dart CLI. Then what does this new very good CLI bring into the game? In big words, the very good CLI is a tool that will greatly enhance any Flutter starter application you'll create from now on. And that's because every app will be based on the very good core. What does this actually mean? Well, it means that out of the box, every application you'll initially create will include an amazing list of really important pre-baked features. So why wouldn't we install the very good CLI on our machine first and talk more in depth about every feature one by one. In order to install the very good CLI, you'll need to have Flutter installed on your machine. Then you'll need to open up a terminal and run dart pub global activate very underscore good underscore CLI. What this command will do is it will install the very good CLI package as a command line interface on your machine. Know that after the installation is finished, you may need to add the created very good executable to the environment variables on your machine. So copy the path to the very good executable file and in my case, I need to add it to the path variable inside my Windows environment variables. This will guarantee me that whenever I open a new terminal, I can simply run very underscore good and Windows will automatically run the command line interface right from the path location. Now, in order to create a new feature rich Flutter project, you'll need to browse to a folder in which you want it to be created and then run the very good create command with the name of the app inside your terminal. So let's open up the project inside VS Code and see what are the main features of this very good startup project. The first amazing feature is that every project you'll build with a very good CLI will benefit right from the start from a highly stable, efficient, testable and maintainable project structure and architecture. The very good venture team were kind enough to share with us what is the folder structure that helped them build so many stable and amazing apps in the past. And I don't know about you, but for me, knowing which architecture and project structure scaled the most over time in a tech company is a really high valued information. Overall, this architecture benefits from a feature driven approach, meaning that every feature of your app will have to be stored into a different folder. And that folder will contain both the business logic and the UI for that specific feature. Why is it scalable over time you may ask? Well, currently we have the default counter feature inside the starting project. But let's say for example we have another feature called update underscore app which lets the user know when there is a new update available for the app. Somehow, after some time, we might decide that there is no need for this feature anymore. What do we do? We'll simply delete the folder for this specific feature as it is not linked to any other part of our app. And we're done. It's that simple. Now think about how many folders and files we would have had to delete if it weren't for this amazing architecture. Another valuable piece of internal information the team was kind to offer us through the CLI is the very good analysis, which is mainly a list of strict lint rules the team follows in order to have a solid, unique and universal way of coding in every project they're working on. 
For example, if we take a look at some of the rules, we can uh, see that you can't explicitly initialize a variable with no. And sure enough, if we try to do that inside a project, we'll get an immediate warning. Maintaining a single and stable code flow is really important while working within a team. And this is why providing these strict rules into the starter project is such a valuable piece of information. What's even more valuable is that the state management solution incorporated into this starting project is the amazing block library. We have already learned mostly everything related to this library from my complete block from zero to hero course. So that's a huge addition to the block ecosystem, an addition that will successfully help us separating the business logic from the user interface more in depth. As we discussed previously, we'll have feature specific blocks and qubits designed to update the feature specific screens or views. Another really important feature of very good core is the support for internationalization. That means every app you'll create will benefit right from the start from multi-language support. As you can see from the screen, we have two files containing the strings used inside our app and they are translated both in English and Spanish language. How amazing is it to have this feature baked in into the project right before you're starting the coding process? You may say it's not much, but this feature definitely add up and compress one or even two days of work to a couple of milliseconds of code generating processes. And speaking of time-saving implementations, the very good startup project comes packed and loaded with the latest sound null safety feature officially introduced in Flutter 2. That means from now on, not only you won't have to spend time worrying about null exceptions that may occur at runtime inside your app, but also you'll be able to develop the entire project on a much stable and why not faster platform having the sound null safety rules in mind. Stability is a major key point of every successful application. Therefore, another important feature coming packed with a very good starting project is that it benefits from 100% line coverage. This means absolutely each and every line of code and feature from inside the app has its own test so that whenever we'll add delete or refactor something, we can simply run the entire suite of tests in order to make sure the application is still 100% functional. And while still being into this topic, another great feature this very good CLI package comes with is that if you're working on a big team with multiple developers at once, whenever one of them makes a pull request to merge new changes with the main branch, the project will verify it automatically by running the specific sets of tests, lints and formatting rules, so that the entire team can notice if something might go wrong with the implementation of the newly added changes. You'll be also able to interpret the Flutter and Dart exceptions that may occur inside your application much more easily. We all know that sometimes Flutter isn't that specific in telling us what went wrong with the application. Therefore, every very good starting project will come in with its built-in extensible logging capabilities in order to capture every possible exception and show a more in-depth explanation on why and where it happened. This will definitely help in debugging the project in the long run. And another key feature you may have already noticed in the architecture of the project is that it comes with multiple main files, one for development, one for staging and one for production. You may have not seen this before, but that's because when developing an application professionally, there are three main stages you'll need to take care of. First of all, you develop it in the development layer, then you test it and benchmark it in the staging layer, and then you release it to the public in the production layer. It's really important to separate these layers since, for example, you may want to have a device preview widget helping in designing the responsiveness of the app only in the development layer and not in the staging or production layers because those layers are meant to be clean and optimized, containing no unnecessary code. Of course, all these starting projects benefit from cross-platform support. This means right from the start, you'll be able to successfully run your app on iOS, Android and web. And I heard that soon enough, there will be also support for desktop platforms. How amazing is that? Having a single codebase project supported by each and every available platform out there. And finally, that's pretty much what every starter project built within the very good command line interface will benefit from, at least of today's version. However, the team at Very Good Ventures is planning on developing a much more advanced version of this CLI that will bring even more features to the already existing ones. In short, they say that they have been able to compress two months of coding 
into a few milliseconds of code generation via their advanced version of the CLI. Speak about time optimization, haha. <laughs> you can check their website for more information on that, I'll leave a link in the description. It is finally time to sum up this tutorial. I have to tell you I was so surprised on how packed of features this package is and I must admit that I'm really determined that from now on every application I'll build within my blog from Hero to Wizard tutorial series will be based on this very good starter project containing all the goodies you saw in this video. Thanks for watching, as always, if you enjoyed this tutorial make sure to drop a like, subscribe to this channel and share the video with all your colleagues in search of top tier development. That being said, I'm looking forward to seeing each and every one of you in the next tutorial. Take care, Wicked is out, bye bye.